What's up everyone, PCJ the Pop Culture Junkie here on location today. We are checking out Spirit Halloween Store. I used to thought they were called Spirit of Halloween, but I guess just Spirit <laughs> uh, Halloween. Uh, but this is a awesome uh, seasonal store that opens up every year. They've got all kinds of Halloween costumes, decorations, makeup, weaponry for your costumes, uh, little knickknacks and gadgets to put all around your house, your yard, great for Halloween parties. And just, I mean, honestly, they have stuff I would stock up and decorate my entire house all year round, not just the month of October. But as many of you know, of course, October, one of my favorite times of the year, Halloween, one of my favorite holidays of the year, if not my favorite of all time. So we're going to head in and check out what they got. They have all kinds of cool giant animatronic stuff and costumes and accessories for your Halloween party needs and so forth. But I'm really excited to see if they have anything new, different. So we're going to go on in here. We'll see how much commentary I can provide. I don't know how loud the place is going to be. They may have some music on here that I can't play uh, on the video. So I'm not sure how much commentary I'll have, but uh, I'll add commentary as much as possible. But I'm excited. Let's go ahead and go inside and see what is going on this year with Spirit. Oh, nice. Got a scarecrow greet us right there at the door. Oh, I love these. They've got those syringe pins. Looks like blood, but it's ink. Yeah, I, I think I've picked up one of these every year that I come up here to buy something. I end up buying a new syringe pin. <laughs> okay, so they really opened this place up a lot where it used to be more aisle stuff, but they've got a lot of stuff on the surrounding wall. Yeah. So we're just going to take a little tour around here and we'll see everything. So check it out in the front here. we got a haunted ghost ship it looks like. The collector. Let's see, it says step here. There's a f in my pouch. I Once I take your soul, the body will die. I collect this now on needed flesh. To feed my army of demons, so we can hunt for more. <laughs> I'm frightened. How about you? Sinister spirit doll. Yeah, there's so much stuff here. I could spend a, a several hours here easily. Every year, now my wife loves Halloween as well, but she knows I'm a diehard Halloween junkie fan. And every year we end up coming up to one of these stores at, at least three times minimum together. And then I end up coming up here on my own a few more times on, uh, as well, just so I can check everything out. So uh, there's more people around the uh, ghost ship. So I'm going to go back over there in a second. I don't want to get anyone on this video that doesn't want to be on here. Got some new oh, Camp Crystal Lake hats, Friday 13 socks. Now, see, these are the character socks I want to see in a subscription box. We get the the Marvel and the wrestling ones sometimes, but that's about it. How about some horror ones? That'd be awesome. There's a Jason Voorhees jersey. That looks pretty sweet. Got Jason's machete with blood. Pretty lightweight, actually. And of course, right nearby, Freddy Krueger's glove. Yeah, Chucky, twisty. Ghost face. I mean, it goes on and on and on. Then you got your, like, not, uh, well, these are just your generic costumes where you can be a vampire, a mistress, a, a bloodthirsty beauty, whatever they want to call it. So you can dress up. And I've seen people wear these outfits other times of the year, of course, not just Halloween season. They'll wear them for costume parties that people have during the year. They'll have different fun nights at clubs that people have. Check it out. Here's our Pennywise It stuff. That's nice. I like this poster. It's wooden. Looks like something you can see hanging outside of a, of a carnival. Now this is great. Oh, there. Okay. At least they have the original Pennywise, the Tim Curry Pennywise. And you have two ch choices of the socks there. That almost looks like Natalia. I don't know why. That kind of looked like Natalia at first. Alright. Got a circus saw bat. 
Oh, it doesn't spin though. Oh well, but that's still pretty badass. Yeah. And a hammer, so if you want to be Harley Quinn, you got your giant mallet there. And you got a chainsaw up there. Oh, that jester staff is nice. Okay, let's check out. Here's some more of the... So some of this stuff is going to step on something, or it's motion sensor. Tortured torso. That one was crouchy. <laughs> this thing is huge. $300, though. No. Alright, so you can see the other side of the uh, torso. And we got a life size Sam. Blue his lollipop. That's pretty nice. 169 for him. Does Sam do anything? Oh, Sam moves. That's kind of cool. Free hugs, hugs the clown. Hey there, friend. Welcome to the fun house. Come a little closer. Got fun. So jump out at you, or just reach for you? Oh, he does reach for you. <laughs> I'll get you next time. <laughs> Pretty nice. All right, so got to have lots of cobwebs and spider webs. There we see. That was like my go-to thing all the time when I would decorate the house at my parents when I lived at home. I'd always get at least two bags of spider web and just throw it all over the front porch and throughout the trees and the yards and whatnot. Oh wow. So okay, they started doing this in the last couple of years where they've had blind boxes, blind bags, which hello. Hello, that's right up my alley, right? Uh, they've got Toy Story bag clips, so the little clip figural ones, okay. You know, I'm not a big fan of these. These aren't you know, these aren't the ones I'm I'm a big fan of. But I didn't know they released Friends. They have Friends ones. Um, wow, they, well, oh my gosh. Wow, they even have Gunther. <laughs> they have Marcel the Monkey. <laughs> wow. Okay, different. I mean, why not? I'm surprised they haven't made mystery minis of Friends figures yet. So here's some more. Of course, you got horror ones, which we picked up some of these. Oh, that Beetlejuice. Nice. Oh, they're playing the theme song, or they're playing the soundtrack to uh, Rocky Horror right now. Excellent. That is a must watch every year for me, every Halloween season. So, yeah, once again, some of this music I had to cut out or figure out something to make sure I don't get in trouble for having any music back in the background. <laughs> so, we got small bats and glow spine so fun stuff to put in like goodie bags and such if you do like you know a halloween party stuff like that these stickers are nice decals and such to put on your car or your windows or your laptops or whatever people do nowadays and such this i always like getting i like getting these blood splatters blood prints and whatnot i usually put those on our windows shot glasses is beer pong still a thing <laughs> uh so if you're going to a Halloween rave, there you go. You got all your glowing stuff there. More toy stuff. Mario coins. And tote bags. I haven't seen these many tote bags. This is nice. It. Nightmare on Elm Street. Friday the 13th. Oh, these coffee mugs are cool. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Sandworm wrapped around there. Got an office. Okay. I mean, they've really expanded on not just costumes and uh, accessories for your costumes and parties. They've got all sorts of stuff. More figural minis, Kingdom Hearts. So, yeah, more. <laughs> oh, yeah, they had these last year. Uh, Hocus Pocus figural minis, which, again, I just, I like mystery minis from Funko. Sometimes I like them from Titans, not often, and I love the ones from Kid Robot as well, but yeah, just not a big fan of these figural clips, even though they come out with other genres and themes that the Funko ones don't come out with sometimes. <laughs> so, if I wanted a Mystery Mini character of the Friends ones like we just saw, I had to get the figural ones. You can't get those, I'd have to get the, you know, oh well. We do have some pops. So we got, uh, 
weird variety of pops. We got Fortnite and Star Wars. Huh, and Walking Dead. <laughs> oh, there's some uh, pens and a couple of pocket pops. So, oh, Fortnite Funko Pop. Buy one, get one half off. Okay. I don't know what they cost regular. Uh, they're not priced, so. All right, so there's some of that. We got some tarot crystal balls and candles and Ouija board stuff and tarot cards. I saw some Ouija board stuff here. There we go. There's the Ouija boards. Nightmare Before Christmas. And Hocus Pocus. I'm surprised they don't have the Hocus Pocus Pops unless they're stashed somewhere or they sold out already. They're supposed to have a new Hocus Pocus uh, Pop set. But uh, I haven't seen that one in person yet. It's where they all have the cauldron. They're all standing around the cauldron. Oh, look. This is interesting. Nightmare Before Christmas mini snow globes. And they are different than the ones from last year. But if you remember last year, and you can watch my video, I unboxed several of them where there were uh, little miniature sized snow globes. And I believe they were exclusive to Hot Topic, if I remember right. But these look a little bit different, a little more detail, bigger size to the characters. Mostly just their, their bust. Um, you had the full-size pocket pop keychain size characters in the ones that we unboxed. So, more Hocus Pocus stuff here. And I got a, there's the Scarecrow, I think that was sitting up front there. So, over here, I do need to check this out because I want to see what they have for infants and toddlers because now that we have little PCJ Jr. at home, <laughs> I can maybe find some ideas for costumes this year. We'll see. He's only a couple months old right now, so I'm <laughs> well, not sure if they're going to have anything that'll fit him. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got a little Clark Kent Superman, little Spider-Man. Even those are too big for him. Yeah, these are way too big. Yeah, this says toddler infant. Oh, here we go. This might be more his size. <laughs> Not going to have anything too scary, of course, which we'll see. We're not sure what all we can or can't get away with with uh, his costumes this year. We'll see. All right, so we got some infant stuff here. There's little dragons, unicorns, monkey, a rooster. <laughs> oh, here we go. He could be an elephant. A lo oh, a werewolf. <laughs> oh, man. Well, this, oh, no, these are 18 to 24 months. Let's see, what do these go... Oh man, 6 to 12, 12 to 18, or 18 to 24. Oh, he's only, like, he's barely three months old. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, he could be a cutest pumpkin in the patch. Give him a little bandana at least. Oh, I do have to get one of these. Wait, belly sticker? Do you put that on him, or do you put that on a, on a belly of a pregnant woman? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. We'll see. May have to hold on to that all. Oh, there's a little pacifier set. Uh, yeah, they're limited. I mean, I get it. They're small. You know, they're really small, so it's hard to make costumes that size, but or not that common, I guess. Lots of Paw Patrol stuff, which I know nothing about. I know nothing about this. Uh, what is this? PJ mask or what? I don't know what this is. <laughs> okay, don't know anything about that either. Uh, let's see. There's turtles and transformers but all this stuff's way too big for him yeah cookie monster yeah cookie monster okay all right let's keep exploring yeah so we're gonna get into the teenagers and young adult stuff and whatnot so all this is way too big for for him but if we decide to go out to any like uh costume parties or i don't know if, i have no clue yet right now it's too early i mean it's not even october yet but I have no idea if any of our friends or family are going to be having any costume parties or Halloween get-togethers with friends and family, or if it's just going to be, you know, more people our age and not having kids around, you know, around and whatnot. Who knows? But it'd be nice to find some uh, cool costumes for the family to dress up together. Even that'd be awesome. My wife and I have talked about that too. <laughs> All right, Dragon Ball Z costumes, Naruto. Slappy. <laughs> Slappy. Oh, I hear something really loud. This is like a cave of wonders. What is this? 
Ah, uh, here's some weaponry. All right. Kane! It's the demon Kane. Yep. Well, he could be Trump or Melania, what's her name? Something like that. Ooh, that's cool. Huge crybaby mask. Just <laughs> More weapons. Wide variety of knives. Anytime you need to cut someone. Bone axe. Hmm. So, oh, is that, wow, they already have a clearance section. Let's check out the clearance. We've been checking out clearance a lot lately. Let's see what they got over here. We've got a toy revolver, toy gun, toy blaster. Belt and holster, gun holsters, wrestler belt, one belt, heavyweight championship. Hmm. For 12.99. <laughs> Let's see. Got Kylo Ren, Stormtrooper, Darth Vader, makeup, smiley face, 300 Rise of the Empire. A rise of an empire. A watermelon shirt. <laughs> Turtles. Okay, so just some random costumes and accessories over here. And then here we are. Here's the makeup and all kinds of kits so you can add stuff to give yourself some scars and blood and some cuts and who knows what else. Latex. Ninja swords. Now, funny thing, when I was like 10, I wanted to go as a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle for Halloween, and we didn't have any money really at all. But my mom was very, very talented at arts and crafts always, so she made me a turtle shell. She just stuffed it and you know designed it and whatnot with uh, cotton and whatnot, and uh, she made me the actual outfit. <laughs> But I needed a uh, weapon. I was like, well, I need some nunchucks, or I need some sides, or a ton of blades, something I need to pull off being, you know, whichever turtle I'm going to be. And they went to, like, a dollar store, I think, or somewhere that they had really cheap uh, accessories. And they basically bought me a barbarian sword, similar to this one right here. <laughs> so I went as a ninja turtle with a uh, barbarian sword. Oh, nice. I like this. I love whenever they do this. They're actually Looks making like a, like a little you. scene in the store here. If you need a job, I'll introduce you to the boss, but uh, all applicants must be dead. That's not a problem, uh, is it? Let's say headless help. I mean, some of them are not going to work, I guess. Nope. Buy me, buy me, buy me. <laughs> What is this, an experimental eddy? <laughs> and then demonic Dahlia. This, one, this has to jump out. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, do you actually get to go in here? Spirit of Halloween, Spirit Aquarium, swim with the fishes entrance. Well, we have to do this. Let's check it out. I don't know if this is going to show up on camera or not. Oh my gosh, this is almost like a little haunted house inside of a store. Whoa, okay, octopus. You got seaweed all around you. I'm guessing there's some sharks that's going to jump at you on the screen here or something, right? Let's see. Glass looks like it's broken right there. Oh, there's the shark right there. Okay, cool. Oh, here we go. Is that Bruce? Okay, you can see that a little bit better. The great white shark. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Beautiful. And 
yeah, this is just an LED screen. But yeah, that looks cool. <laughs> She's hot. All right, so I walked right by here. Here's Nightmare Before Christmas. Or, no, Nightmare Before Christmas. Here's some Friday the 13th. I wish it was Friday. Love it. And Freddy pathway markers. Oh, the little light ups for your uh, driveway or something. Never fall asleep. I mean, man, it's just crazy. We didn't have any of this stuff when we were kids. Nothing like this at all. Oh, let's see. Here's your woodland deer kit. So if you want to be a deer, or a pig, or a bear, or all sorts of wigs, which can be used for Halloween costumes, or other fun activities. Diggity, diggity. Let's see. Got some Halloween stuff. Nice. You don't see much Michael Myers stuff. Got a window cling. Oh, these are so cool. I love these little greeters. You can put the candy in if you just want to put the bowl of candy outside. Decrepit the haunted doll. Oh man, I hope I get all this on video because I'm gonna probably run out of room soon. I'm trying to show everything that's in here. It's so awesome in here though. I'm trying to go a little quicker. Wow, 39 bucks. I really thought that was gonna be more. This Chucky doll or the Chucky doll, yeah, greeter was awesome. Not bad for 39 dollars actually. Decaying zombie groundbreaker. A little haunted baby doll there. So here's some of the stuff I always look for. Because uh, we've had this actually on our... We had this on our fridge for about two years in a row. And I always end up coming up here and buying something else to put on our fridge. Or maybe our dishwasher or something like that. Uh, I got crazy... I went crazy one year and I bought tons of warning tape and crime scene tape that I hung up all over our house. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm a big kid at heart. Whenever it comes to Halloween, I will go bizarre, crazy with decorating. <laughs> Three Slimer Pathway Markers. Awesome. Ghost in the Closet. That's creepy. Oh, Clown in the Closet. I read that wrong. Clown in the Closet. Huh. All right. So, as of this video, just to let whoever is still watching know... We're only about halfway through. Uh, check these out. These are those crazy, uh, scary, detailed characters. So you would hang up, like, hang them from the porch or trees in your yard. Maybe you have a haunted house set up at your, you know, house. Maybe you got property where you can do something like that. These would be awesome to hang up in the trail. Beware the zombie dog. Well, we got a couple of dogs that definitely scare the pants off some people if they uh, come to the house without warning. <laughs> Talking about Yo Yogi and Chewbacca, as many of you know. <laughs> so here's your wacky costumes. We got deer poncho, cow union suit, cozy fawn, uh, inflatable jetpack pick-me-up, inflatable baby, poop, avocado and toast, <laughs> PB&J, penguin, not the kind of penguin I would dress up as. Got trucker hats and sexy nuns and hot nuns and disciplining nuns and Jesus. Right there, Jesus. There he is. Nerd glasses, because we all want to be nerds. Uh, let's see, lawn stakes, grave mounds. I mean, it's just, oh my gosh, so much stuff here. I wish they would, like, take blood and... <laughs> kidneys as payment because I, I mean I would go, go broke trying to get everything that I want from here pirates Egyptian pharaohs and so much stuff gangsters real gangsters haha <laughs> and medieval times warrior a knight there we go a cool little dragon See, now, some of this stuff, Jordan the Dungeon Master would definitely enjoy and probably use it somehow or one way or another with his D&D uh, &D campaigns. <laughs> Got some steampunk stuff. Stuck in the 80s, aren't we all a little bit? Aren't we all? 
more pirate stuff, doctor stuff. Who wants to play doctor? <laughs> and escape convict, jailbird, cop kits. Want to be a cop? Want to be a criminal? Want to be a sexy cop? <laughs> oh, look at this. We got more pops. Again, what's with the Fortnite stuff? <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> That's so weird. Why do they not have horror pops at Spirit of Halloween? Why do they not have that? Colonel Sanders. Yes, in case you want to be like HBK and Ric Flair and Dolph Ziggler, you now can be the Colonel. Oh, Super Trooper costume. Excellent. Dodgeball. Another slappy costume. <laughs> Toy Story, Archie. Oh, that's just Sabrina Teenage Witch. Archie cheerleader outfits. Cheryl. Why can't you be Archie or Jughead or Betty Veronica? Where's the like, Yeah, where's Jughead's crown? They don't have that here. Ah, <sighs> Bob's Burgers. You can get a Tina costume. Or Jean has beef squatched. Bob, Louise, Linda. Oh, you can get Tina's glasses. That's hilarious. Where's Waldo? I don't think I've seen that costume before. <laughs> Minions. Crayons. Who wants to be a crayon? And Fallout. There's Fallout stuff. And we got some DC stuff. Batman, Batgirl, Wonder Woman. Assassin's Creed. Okay. Oh, Joker stuff. Riddler. All right, Harry Potter. Oh, there's the Ghostbuster stuff. <laughs> Ooh, they got a PKE meter. What is, are these real walkie-talkies? What is this? Wow, they're real walkie-talkies. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so if you want to reenact the scene where Peter Venkman gets slimed, just hit the button and it's Venkman screaming. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, for all of you who sat here and checked all this out with me, I appreciate you tuning in. Hope you enjoyed my quick little tour through Spirit. Uh, it is still over a month away from being October, let alone two months away from Halloween, so... Who knows what else they may be adding. The store looks really packed with merchandise right now, so who knows what else they may be bringing in to add to the store. Uh, only time will tell, and I will definitely be popping in more of these as they pop up around Houston. It's great that they pop them up so early, so people like me can come here and check it out way before all the people with unruly kids and the teenagers that don't respect nothing. <laughs> In my day, you know, but really, you got to deal with all that, and it's it's a pain when you come in here through, like October, especially because by then the store is tore up, merchandise has been knocked around and kicked around, people let their kids run wild and so forth. It's, you know, so I hate to I hate to end on a negative note, but it is disappointing when you have an awesome store like this and people can't show a little respect and appreciation for what we never had. We never had stores like this before. It's freaking awesome. So I am so happy I came in. I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you'll tune in again for another On Location with your friend and host, PCJ, the Pop Culture Junkie. Take care, everyone. I'm heading out. <laughs>